Welcome back. Good to see you. I have a big old stack of goodies here. It's time for developer developing units for all four colors on this machine. You're supposed to be able to get about 1.2 to 1.3 million clicks out of a developer or developing unit. Uh, and this machine has almost three times that, so it's time to go. And this is why I wrote these down over the past uh, probably two months or so. I've been getting 2821 and 2822, and both of those are low density for the yellow and magenta. And uh, you can keep it going by going into the technician menu and revert uh, color density, and it will actually charge that and bring it up to the correct level, but it doesn't last. So uh, then from day to day, I see the density changing. Um, so we got to do that. I don't know if I'll go over the full procedure because I did that before you can go back and watch another video. But getting ready to print some envelopes over here. Got all those big books done earlier in the week. Those got shipped out of here and I got another 800 of a thousand books. Uh, a lot of people were asking and always ask, Dan, how do you do it all yourself? And the reality is, is I don't. I do have part-time help from time to time uh, that is very handy on long runs, uh, like the 800 books that were bound yesterday. Uh, you know, somebody else helped me out with that while I was doing other stuff. So I do not do all of it. see all this excess toner uh, that was probably a sign that I took this a little bit further than I should have uh, and the machine was throwing more and more toner on there but it was not getting across because the developer was shot so the developer carries the toner and kind of holds it out until it gets onto this drum unit and then onto the belt and then onto the paper so um, that is one thing if you try and make your developer go further than it should, you could potentially make a big mess. So here's all the old ones that I pulled out. I always think it's kind of a shame because these are just going in the trash, but the reality is that these things were in there for three million clicks. And that's a lot. That could potentially be years of service before they wear out. Uh, someday, someday we'll be able to get much, much more service out of those. Uh, but hey, for now, this is an easy way to have high quality printing and that, that's, that's always exciting because once I get this developer changed out, this is going to be a brand new machine. It's, it's going to be nice. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's pretty. Let's put them in. to the Konica engineer that eliminated all the screws that hold those in, thank you.
I'm sure you can't tell from the video quality, but that is a lot better. Uh, the magenta is under control. Some of the colors were just wonky, so this looks so much nicer. I'm gonna be running this thing all day. Okay, this is going to town and looks so nice. You know, it's interesting. I never thought I would have so much fun printing envelopes on this machine, but it is really cool. Some nine by 12 action here. Nice. Finished printing the perfect bound books. Gonna cut these down. And before we start binding, I have art prints and a saddle stitch booklet that I wanna start printing while we bind. You know the drill. Gotta keep as much running at the same time as possible. I didn't show earlier, and I'm sure I showed when uh, I actually did a video on the developer unit changing. But this new uh, 3070, new to me, has a sweet setup. It has a feature here all developer replace you just select them all you hit next twice and what that does is does all the adjustments at once back in the old days with the 6500 i'd have to do uh, the sensor gamma register all that stuff individually this packages it all together does it all and then you're up and running nice you know it's the little things in life that make me happy like the fact that i just got two emails of two different jobs and they're on the same paper Oh, that's so great. I love it when that happens. And the great thing is, I know the color is good on there. I know it's backed up because of the both sides adjust. I just got to open it up. I need 200 eight up postcards. So I need 25 copies, right and left fine, a hundred pound gloss cover. She's off to the races. And the next one too. Import. Hey. That's great. I want to show you a quick tip uh, on how to print a full bleed on an envelope and uh, well actually any sheet of paper uh, when you want to print to the edge. I wouldn't advise this if you can uh, it's much better, better to print on a large sheet and trim it down, but with an envelope to get to the edge, you got to trick the machine a little bit. Let me show you how. So here's the uh, envelope that uh, I'm doing, and they got this logo, and it's supposed to bleed off this top edge at the flap. So all I'm going to do is change the paper size. We have these in tray five. We're gonna change uh, paper size. And it looks like, I mean, like an eighth of an inch would get it to the edge. So let's add two eighth or a quarter of an inch to make the sheet size seem larger here. Uh, let's just Let's try four and a quarter, see what that's like. Uh, and on your rip, you're gonna wanna change the page size here um, to point, point 0.25. So get that to four and a quarter. And print. We might need to force it. Yep, so just tray five and force it. There we go. That's how it's done. I could have told my customer no on that and just changed the design, but now I can have a happy customer. It was really simple. I'd really love to run that on the 3070, be done in half the time, but Busy. That didn't take long at all. What they think. 
it's another magazine that I subscribe to that I forgot to mention in my last video. And there's probably others that I'm forgetting too, but we're talking about paper and how it's tough to get. Uh-oh. Well, hopefully that was helpful to somebody. Thanks again for watching. Thanks so much for commenting. It's really neat to see and hear from people all around the world uh, that are getting started in printing or just want to learn about it or have questions and things like that. I'm sorry if I can't get back to all of you. I do my best to. Uh, and also sometimes the questions are, are really complex, like what type of machine to buy. And you know, it, it depends on a ton of uh, information. Uh, but that's neither here nor there. So thanks for watching. See you next time.